Celine Teen Triumph, the crossbody thing. The box is at the back, the Celine box. Just, yeah, I didn't think that that was important. But here she is. Not good at dramatic entrances. Um, but here's the bag. Oh my God, look at it. I got it at second hand. This woman only wore it once and there were still like stickers intact it. I'll, I'll clip in the video of me peeling off those stickers. Oh my God. And then there's also a sticker on the top. I'm just gonna peel that off. Oh my God. Because this is my fourth time filming this um, unboxing because I have OCD. But yeah, the stickers were still intact on the metal parts. Um, so this retails for 5,400 SGD and I got it for 4,300 SGD because this lady bought it from Europe and you know, she's still earning even after she um, like bought it and sold it to me. So she's still like earning like around like 700 like SGD. So the bag looks like this. It's in perfect tip top condition. Um, I knew that if the bag had like any scratches whatsoever, I would just opt for a brand new one. But this one was just really, really new. So I was okay with this. So the bag opens on one side. So you, you press this side and it opens up. And this is how it looks like. Um, the leather feels like dolphin skin. If you've ever touched a dolphin, that's how this feels like. But the dolphins are softer, but this is very close to that level of softness. So you open up and it looks like that. Take out the strap. The only um, sign of um, wear and tear I had when I got this bag was this um, dent here from basically the buckle adjustment that she put it on previously, which I am fine with, feel like that's kind of unavoidable. And plus the whole bag is in super tip top condition other than that. So I am happy with that. I have no problems and issues with that. I am a little confused with whether I should tuck this strap inside the bag when I'm not using it or like leaving it like this because when I, tuck it in look what it does like it makes it like all wavy and weird and it takes a while for it to like you know become um so yeah i'm a little maybe the way i tucked it was wrong i don't know but here's the bag and i'm super happy out okay i'm super happy about it um i am actually building my just closet collection i just want a very classic collection that would just kind of go on forever and you know 10 years from now i would still be wearing this because it still is um just in style you know i would it would work um the dust bag looks like this it has like a holographic i'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of like reviews and unboxing and you've always seen it but um, there's this like holographic-ish looking print to it, to the dust bag. Not really sure why, maybe that's how to authenticate it, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, this is the bag and it's super cute. I haven't even put anything in it yet, like, but I just know by the amount of space I see here that it's going to be enough for me. I don't bring much out. Um, yeah, so it looks like this and on the inside there's a zip. And then over here, there's another compartment for, I guess, cards and stuff. So yeah. if you don't want to bring a card holder, you just slip your cards into this thin compartment and then your phone, tissues, whatever. I love how it clicks closed. Look, oh, that's so satisfying. Um, I'm going to do a mod shot now. I like my crossbody bag sitting high on me. I am five foot six and um, this is how the bag looks on me when I've adjusted it to the length that I want it to be adjusted. I like it sitting just above my hip. I think that it looks more um, put together. I don't really like um, slouchy or very drag 
like long like crossbody I think it doesn't look like classy I don't know it's just me but yeah I like it sitting high like this, this is how it fits on me the way I want to wear it as well this is how it looks like It's just a super simple outfit that I put together to film this video. Um, just super casual so that, you know, you can see how this bag looks when it's in a super casual setting as well. Maybe I'll do some videos in the future um, to like be like, oh, how I style this bag or whatever. But I'm actually super lazy to do those videos because <laughs> those videos mean I have to prepare stuff and there's so many things to put back in the closet. I'm just a really lazy person or I just procrastinate, not really lazy, but I just procrastinate because I want it to be perfect and then, you know, I just can't procrastinate so that I don't have to, yeah, super pretty bag. Um, yeah, so that's it for my um, unboxing for this bag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're watching this, do you have this bag or are you planning to get it? Um, I would say try to find for a pre-loved and that is in a really good condition that you're okay with because you can save so much money. I saved like 1.1K, $1,100 Singaporean dollars um, because I opted for like a pre-loved bag instead of a brand new one. But you know, that person didn't even use it more than once. And she literally showed me photos like, see, here's where I use the bag. And you could tell when you touch the bag, it's literally <laughs> new or she kept it very well at least. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. I feel like um, you should totally go for it. Um, I will have a um, updated review on how I feel about this bag after I start using it. I have not used it yet. I got it just two days ago and yeah, so I will have an update on this bag, maybe like half a year in, how much use I've made of it, pros and cons, yeah. And this arm you see over here, that's my boyfriend, he's playing games. So if you hear background noise, that's him. That's my little kid. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Um, thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, see you, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.